What's up guys, Chasing Lamy here with episode 8 of Tipping the Hatters and today we're playing in the FA Cup 3rd round at home to Leicester. Big times afoot. Um, we've also got some updates on what's been happening. So without any further ado, let's get through Peter's beautiful footage and on to the game. See you in a sec. And we're back, so let's do a quick run through of what you've missed since we last met. We last met here at the Plymouth game on TV, beautiful, beat them 2-1. You, you must have seen the video in the last episode, if you haven't watched it, beautiful work. Um, we then played Spennymore at home, um, a 3-0 win, really nice work. Jason Oswell got himself two, Reese Turner got himself back on the score sheet. These guys are back on fire, that is what we like to see. Uh, we then played Loughborough in the FA Trophy first round, 1-3-1 away. Um, I picked basically a rotated team for this one um, because it's the FA Trophy, I want to rest some guys, I'm really more interested in the league but we'll keep going with the FA Trophy as long as we're in it um, but you'll see you know Tom Leggett got a game, Kieran O'Loughlin got a game, Dan Cohen got a game, Ishmael Diallo got a game, Birchall, Brown and Lawrence might be the oldest midfield in the history of the world with Harvey Moss making his debut on the left wing and Pearson and Schubick started up front and got themselves on the score sheet as did Frankie Masonda who was about the only first team regular aside from the old boys that played. Um, we then went away in the league to Curzon Ashton, beat them 5-0. Stevenson, Oswell, Birchall and Turner on the score sheet. Stevenson got himself a brace. James Graham picked up an injury which was a big pain. Um, I think he misses today's game. I should have checked really before I did this whole thing, but I forgot. So that's the thing. Um, but some really good performances all around from the team there. A few yellow cards, which I'm not super happy about, but things things are going well. Um, then we got one little Alfreton on Boxing Day. Um, he's turning it on the score sheet again because that's what Reece Turner does. Um, Dan Cowan picked up a, an injury. Um, he's going to be out for a bit. Uh, Liam Lawrence picked up yet another injury, which was disappointing. So that's that's good. Um, and then we got a 2-2 draw in the away fixture round. I know we played them twice in five days, but this league's weird. Um, Reese Turner getting that brace. Lundstrom and Westcar scoring for them. Craig Westcar, a couple of years still playing. He must be about 104 by now. 32. He always seems older to me. It feels like he's been around on this game forever. Um, but again, solid performances all around. Jason Oswell picked up a knock, which is not good going into this game against Leicester. Um, Leicester, current, their current form is... It's not good. Um, lost four of their last five. One draw in against Brighton. Doesn't speak highly of them. 14th in the league. Um, if we have a quick look at their current team, idea of what's going on it's still strong we are going to struggle they've got I'm hoping Mares doesn't play against us today uh, same with Vardy It'd be nice if they could you know rotate the squad but we'll see what happens I guess as you'd expect they're all rated highly highly above us so let's get into the preview and we'll see what's going on okay so here's the preview we've got um, they're on woeful form which is great for us because if they come out weak as well as coming out on bad form we could be in real um, in a real chance of at least getting a draw taking this back to Filbert Street or whatever it's called these days the King Power whatever so we'll hope we'll live in hope um, this is the team for today uh, it's, it's no real surprises I think uh, we've got Stevens in goal, Minahan, Graham, Masonda and Dubry at the back Birchall, Brown, Warburton and Stevens in the midfield. Oswell's playing with an injury, um, but we need to have our best team out. And he's up front with Turner. On the bench, you've got Wheeler, Burgess, Tubic, Stott, Ball and Pearson. So, not a bad side. 
not a bad side all round. So let's get into this, let's see what we can do against the mighty Leicester City. Well, it wasn't the weakened team I was hoping for. Uh, Schmeichel in goal, Simpson, Maguire, Morgan and Fuchs at the back. Mares, Silva, Ibora, Gray, midfield and Kovalenko just behind Vardy. Oh crap. Uh, <laughs> this could be a massacre, but we didn't expect to get the third round of the FA Cup, so we'll take it. Uh, Rory Fallon says prove a point, and as always we trust Rory Fallon, the players don't even care. Uh, this could be interesting, hopefully Michael Brown won't get sent off and Chris Burchill can produce some of that magic he used to have that got into a World Cup. Uh, we've left Tom Leg out, is that due to his recent injury problems? Uh, yes. And also because he wasn't going to play anyway. <coughs> so, let's see where it goes. I need to make sure we've got it on highlights. Because, yeah, good. Because I always forget to do that. Because just, I always say I like to watch the games on full, um, in full mode between, uh, between recordings. Purely because I want to know what's going on with the team. I want to see how individual pieces are working. And they're working well. <laughs> as you've just seen. But I just want to hold on. I haven't made any real tactical changes. The uh, pre-match advice said to go defensive, which I understand. Jamie Vardy's picked up a knock. That could be interesting. Um, but I don't want to change the way we play. I, I tend to find if you go to defensive, you just invite them onto people, you know, bigger teams onto you, and they just take you apart. And I don't really like that. But now Mares has got the ball. He's found Ibora. This could go badly. Kovalenko's through. He's found a goal. One 0 down this early. It's not a good start, but like I said, I wasn't really expecting to win against the first team. I was hoping they might just be big enough to sort of take advantage and play the kids, but they they didn't, and that's that's what we have to deal with. You know, that's the game. Um, but it's the FA Cup, and anything can happen in the FA Cup, as we proved against Plymouth. So we'll see how this goes. Stevens with a goal with a free kick. Uh, Hoofs it long. It's found Oswell, which was pretty impressive. He's found Turner. What can Turner do? Oh, he's giving it away to Kovalenko. They're going to hit us on the break. Come on, boys. Let's, let's get some shape. Now he's just skipped past him. Vardy's got the ball. He's injured, boys. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Warburton. Oh, he's got a foot in, but Ibora's found Gray. Gray's found Kovalenko, and Kovalenko has just powered that in from distance. Oh, it's gone down as an own goal. That's interesting. I didn't see the own goal. But we'll see what the uh, the replay shows us. Must have been a horrible deflection. Really, must have been a bad deflection. Gray Kovalenko wasn't entirely. I'm guessing he tried to play it into the other corner, and Masonda just kind of got in the way, and that's disappointing for us. But and for him, funnily enough. Um, but we'll we'll go with it. It's only got there was oh yeah because of the go that, that confused me. Oh, this is going to go badly. It's a free kick. Oh. Come on, boys. Let's encourage them. Let's encourage the boys to do some stuff. Because we know our team can play. Frankie Masonda needs to pick his head up. There's nothing you can do about a ball hitting him and going in the net. It's unfair, really, that there's no goal. Simpson with a throw to Mares. Come on, boys. Let's defend this. Mares finds a ball. Mares is pulling all the strings, by the way. Uh, Gray. Gray back to a ball. Minahan's picked up. He's found Oswell. Can we just get this ball forward? We can. Birchall. He's not got the pace to take anyone, but Minahan can, can do something, maybe. Birchall finds Brown. Oh, Brown's giving it away. It's sloppy. It's sloppy. Vardy's clean through. Come on, someone take him out. Someone get to him. He's got a cross in. Minahan clears it only as far as Mares. Masonda gets a, pe a penalty. Oh. Oh, that's... That's bad. That's really bad. And I feel like this is one of those things that could derail the season. Let's save this. Didn't even try, Jack. Frankie Masonda's having an absolute nightmare out there today. I don't want to rush into taking him off. I just want to see if I can take him out of the firing line a little bit. It's not ideal, but... If we can get him to pick his head up, we can do something. Kovalenko's picked up a knock now. At least we're getting some kicks in on them, if nothing else. Uh, 
bit of encouragement boys let's see what we can do want Masana to pick his head up to really kind of come back into the game but Fuchs got another free kick he's pinged it over the top to Vardy Vardy's never missing from there never ever in a million years missing from there and 4-0 down after half an hour I mean it's to be expected it's not ideal uh, we haven't really got the pace to hit them on a counter I'm just going to go defensive now just in the hope of just in the hope of containing this. I know I said I didn't want to do it, but there's nothing to lose. I'm going to take Masonda off because he's just having the worst game I've ever seen him have. And this is not the first club I've had him at. Um, send Jamie Stott in. Hope he can do something a bit more impressive. Warburton's picked up a yellow now. And again, he's not playing brilliantly, and that's uh, that's unhelpful. Very unhelpful is the best way of describing that. Ah, uh, let's get through to half time. We'll think about what we do. At this point, I'd be happy just to get a shot because we haven't had one yet. Warburton's headed clear. That's good to see. Just need some ideas. Need some ideas in here. Uh, Vardy's case, he must have been offside there anyway. It's three minutes added on, let's get the boys in, let's t say some nice things to them. Stevens with the goal kick. It's got us, we found Birchill, which is a miracle because I didn't think he had the pace to get there. Uh, finds Minahan, Minahan finds Brown to Warburton. Warburton with the ball over the top to Stevenson. What's Stevenson got? Ball into Turner. Turner with a goal. We're on the score sheet, boys. The first shot on goal, as far as, I, as, far as I'm aware. And we scored it. Oh, we need three more boys. Um, no pressure. No, no pressure at all. No pressure at all. Ah. Uh, didn't really improve any ratings much. Scoring a goal usually does something to improve a rating. Huh. was half time that's good um, just because it stops the onslaught for a little while let's challenge them to go out and prove it yes let's do that let's do that right now thinking what I can do subways I know the media are going to get on me if I don't replace an attacker but thinking Adding some pace to the wings might be a good idea. And Burgess is the man for that. And then Warburton really needs to come off just because he's booked and he's been awful. And if he starts getting frustrated, who knows what could happen. Now Michael Brown's picked up a yellow card and that's not ideal either. Um, there are ways I can rearrange this. I need to not panic. Stevens with a long ball forward. We did well out after, off the last one. Fuchs has cleared that away from Oswald, but Minahan's picked it up. Ball as far as Stevenson. Warburton finds Stevenson, and now that's, that's what we can do. Come on. Oh, they found Fardy's got the ball now. Looks for Gray. I don't know what happened there. Look bitchy, but we'll go with it. Damari Gray's through. Soft shot. It's a soft shot, but we should be grateful for that, really. Oh. There are changes are coming. Chris Birchall getting booked doesn't help because he's also very prone to yellow cards and that was part of my B plan. Oh, choices. Oh, Michael Brown's going to get sent off now. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Okay, force me into changes now. I didn't want to look at that profile. <sighs> James Ball's going on. Burgess is going on. <sighs> hope we can do something on a break. <sighs> and hope we don't concede another four goals. 
Adrian with the, with the corner. Graham heads it clear. I thought he'd found ball, but didn't. Whipped back in by Adrian to Gray. Gray finds Ibora. Great shot, but nothing doing. Right, Stevenson's got it. Just hoofs it clear. Good play. Good thinking. Good man. Um, I really should have started off defensive, shouldn't I? Because we've looked way better since we did that. Even if we have got a red card, because Michael Brown can't help get sending off, but get sent off at the wrong times. Ball with a ball over. Burgess heads it to Schmeichel. Should have more with that, but you don't expect a winger to score with his head, so I guess we'll let it pass. Um, okay. I don't really have any ideas. I'm not going to lie, I have no ideas. If we were playing in the league, I could do something. But if we were playing in the league, it wouldn't be against the former Premier League champions. And, you know... Ian Ash what was that? That was such a bizarre choice. Graham heads it clear. Albrighton's picked it back up. Finds Simpson. Finds Adrian on the edge of the box. Bit of ping pong in the, or table tennis in there somewhere. Uh Osb oh Turner's on a break. Can't seem doing anything. Come on. Well, well overwhelmed. Burgess though finds ball. Back to Burgess. Burgess needs to just run. Just run. Doesn't want to take anyone on. Turner finds Oswell. Oh, you'd have bet money on Oswald to score that that's poor from him really poor by his standards but Ball's got a corner can Oswald redeem himself with it that's what Oswald finds oh, Darren Stevenson's got a goal Darren Stevenson has got a goal ok Kind of proving that we should have listened to Rory and we should have played defensive to begin with a little bit. But also, it's not over yet, boys. It's not over yet. Um, okay. Let's give a shout of encouragement again because encouraging them always leads to a Leicester scoring. But also because we're on a bit of a roll, we seem to be trying to come back into this with 10 men. I'd love to get a replay, but I don't think it's going to happen. In terms of finishing, though, six shots and five of them on target, it's not its not a bad return. shows that when we get the ball in the box, we do have an idea of what to do with it. But I think it's going to be too late now. It's only a couple of minutes of it, oh, injury time, let's be honest. Simpson throws it into Okazaki. Okazaki oh, thought he found Orbiton, but Dubry's picked it up. What's Borley got? useless. Come on, let's stop giving it back to them. Gray's in. Oh, to save. Stock clears it. We're showing some fight down to 10 men, which is nice, but we should have been showing some fight when we had 11 on the field, and not like Michael Brown type of fighting where you just go looking for red cards. Oh, it's going to be over now. Um, Orbiton finds Okazaki, Okazaki. Oh, Stock's got his head in there. Only as far as Adrian. Finds Fuchs. Fuchs moves it on to Gray. Gray's going to cross it, I'd imagine. Yeah, plenty of space. Ian Nacho puts it away. That's the game over. 5 2. Oh, it's disappointing. But we got here. Um, we, I'd assume, have a full house. Which would be good for the attendance money. Because I'm hoping we did that old, old non league trick of you get a big club to come down and play you, and suddenly the tickets go from a five or a pop to 50 quid. But that's uh, that's what that's the game. Uh, I'm just going to pass it around till the ref blows the whistle, which hopefully will be very soon because I don't want to concede a sixth. Oswell's picked it up. That's the final whistle. Really should have done better. Not great performances all round, but we'll 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 learn something from it. You know, we've nothing that happened was unexpected. Let's put it that way. And uh, that's. That's the game. I was I was contemplating doing the Salford game, but I think we did Salford earlier in the season, so that's not going to be a thing we do. Um, in terms of where that leaves us, we're obviously out the FA Cup. Um, we've got a game in hand over York, who are seven points ahead of us, and that game will be the Salford game. So hopefully we can win that and put ourselves within four points of them. Oh, 
I don't want to say the playoffs are guaranteed because in my personal save I thought I had the playoffs guaranteed and then suddenly I finished the league 16th. Not ideal. Um, because the team fell apart. But we got this far in the FA Cup. Just have a quick look through what's coming through the message. Jason Oswell is in. He's got a couple more days left on his injury. That's fine. I knew that was coming. Do the press conference in a bit because you don't. You guys don't want to see that. Michael Brown can have a fine this time because I warned him last time. Feels it's unfair. Well, don't get sent off, then you knob. There won't be a don't get sent off, you knob. Get over it. If you don't want to stay at the club, you can go. I genuinely don't care. You've been sent off twice for us in about five appearances. I don't care. Um, I'm going to come back for the game against York in the next episode, because that seems like a smart place to do this. Um, because they're top of the league, we are currently second, and that could be a game to see who takes the title. So, yeah, we'll come back for York in a few games' time. That's what, skipping four... I'll let you know how the Western game goes, but I'm not super excited by the FA Trophy. So if we win it, we win it, and if we don't, we don't. We'll come back for York. That'll be the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, sorry we couldn't win the FA Cup, but it turns out we're only a Conference North club, and that's sometimes how it goes when you play a team from five leagues above you who've won the league. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to stick around for more, hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you really want to do something nice, you could hit the Patreon link in the description below. And also watch Peter's documentary because it's pretty bloody good. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.